Welcome to this Windows channel and today in one more of a series of privacy settings in Windows 10 for those that um, you know care about the Windows 10 uh, we have a little more here I want to thank the uh, gazillion people that left messages and told me I was a nut job thank you so much and I don't really care. Um, so, <laughs> that said, um, still, like I said, you know, I think it's reasonable. Um, I think privacy set problems in Windows 10 are overblown. And, um, but, like I said, if you really listen to what I was saying, you have to be careful about privacy. And there are settings. And I think that, you know, people might want to play with these settings. And it's okay. So, in Windows 10, another place where you get privacy settings, uh, if you just type account info in the bottom left in the search uh, for Windows 10, you will have account info privacy settings. This one is a, a big one because it actually is that general switch where apps in Windows can share a lot of information that you might not want and you know um, it's one thing to have my Windows 10 do some uh, give you concern about privacy but it's another thing about apps wanting to know a little too much about you that I would say is a little more scary for me than Windows itself or Microsoft itself having apps use this setting to check a little too much this is like uh, in Facebook you know in Facebook uh, people, you know, go crazy over Windows 10 privacy settings, but they'll go on Facebook and they'll play their favorite game and they don't really care that the game said that it's going to access all your private information and your contacts and everything. And you know what? That is a big deal and it's just so funny that nobody cares about it, but they care that Microsoft does something. So here goes. The account info. This is a big general switch. When you install apps, if that switch is on, basically it says that let apps access my name, picture, and other account info. And there's not a lot of you know <laughs> details. Other account info. What does that mean exactly? Uh, you got to read the privacy statement, and you know I think nobody really reads that because it's just so complex. But it says that some apps need to access your account info to work as intended. Turning off an app here might limit what it can do. Apps that need your permission to access your account info will appear here. Go to the store to get apps. So basically, you have two things you can do. Turn that general switch off. Or remember that this place exists and check the apps that you have installed that need that. Now, as you see here, I don't have any for now. But as I add new apps, this will surely have some apps showing up here. So if you just don't want anything to show up in any apps, you can put that switch to off and that's it. And no apps will have access to that information. Uh, personally, what I will do, if you want to know my opinion, I'll leave that switch on, but I will be checking from time to time what apps that I've installed that actually want to access my account info. And why I don't turn the switch off is because it's true that some apps might not work right. For example, I would suspect that maybe Facebook app, for example, might not work right. Why? Because Facebook requires a lot of info to actually work well. That could be one app. So there are apps that it's, you know, I, I don't find it necessarily a problem that it uses my info but I want to know which ones and um, by you know checking regularly as you install apps I think that's the best way to deal with this another thing that you might want to check while you're here is just below account info contacts here it says choose apps that can access contacts and contacts are in different forms you know um, if you have if you use mail you'll have contacts in mail if you use different apps that have different contacts like Facebook 
that's where it can get a little delicate. So here it says some apps need access to contacts to work as intended. Turning off an app here might limit what it can do. So there are apps, another example once again, Facebook, that might want to have it, to use it, because that's how it can connect and know that you have uh, you know, some of your contacts are also on Facebook and things like that. But there are apps that you'll probably not want to have this. So once again, here there's no general on-off switch, but there's switches for every app, every Windows feature that needs to use it. So for example here, Mailing Calendar is on. That's kind of normal because in mail and calendar, I will use contacts in there. That's for sure. App connector is pretty much what will make the bridge between an app and your existing mail and calendar. It's some sort of general on off switch. And then there's Windows shell experience, which also uses contacts and info because for different features. You know what? If you just don't use anything or if you're just scared that contacts are shared, just turn all the switches off. What happens when you turn account info and contacts off, by the way, it's not complicated. If you do install an app that wants to have access to these informations, it will tell you. It's going to tell you, well, account info, uh, the general switch to account info is off. I can't access the name or the picture or the information. Same with the contacts. If you install an app and it wants to have access, it's going to say, well, in contacts, you know what? All is off. You got to turn uh, app connector on, for example, or Windows Shell Experience on. So that's why you can tweak these. If you're really scared, just turn the whole thing off on both account info and contacts. And if, a con if you install an app and it requires the info and you really want to use it, then you can just turn it back on, but just choose which apps actually acquire that personal information. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, uh, please do so. If you have a feature of Windows you'd like me to talk about, please uh, share it with me. I have a lot of people that have been asking me a lot of for information and videos. They are coming up. A lot of them will be posted this week. Give me some time. Um, as I have the time to do the videos, I will post that. And I hope you enjoy the videos. And I hope that you will come back to the channel.